Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. So as you guys can tell by the title, today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I asked you guys a couple of days ago on Instagram to basically leave your questions and all that good stuff. And I got some really decent questions. So I am going to be answering them all today. Um, I got some juicy questions, you guys. I asked you guys to not hold back and... Uh, you clearly did not. Okay, I'm not too sure whether you guys want your names to be put in this video or not. Um, how did you get your hair that color and how do you maintain it? I had to bleach my hair quite a bit to get it this color. Um, maintaining it is a process, but I use my Dove um, deep conditioning treatment. I use Dove and Tresemme, a combination of the shampoo and conditioners. And I use the Tresemme heat protectant spray. I oil my hair. If you guys want tips and tricks on how I take care of my hair and how I maintain my color treated hair, follow me on Instagram. All of the tips and tricks that I use to treat my hair are there. And also there's a video on all things hair about how I maintain my blonde hair. I will leave that video down below in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check that out. So I hope that helps and answers your question. The next question is, have you ever been in love? Yes. How do you know what shade concealer to buy? So I'm going to have to say, for me personally, because I don't have dark under eye circles and because I am a huge fan of using a shade of foundation that is darker than my skin tone, as a rule of thumb, because I'm like an NC 44.5, I will go for like an NC 42 shade of foundation for reference. So I personally go two or three shades lighter than my foundation shade, my actually true foundation shade, just because I do wear darker foundations and using a lighter concealer balances everything out. It doesn't make my face look that dark, but at the same time, it doesn't make the sides of my mouth look ashy and, and all that stuff. That's, the reason, well, that's one of the reasons why I wear a darker foundation because especially on camera, the camera is not very forgiving. It looks ashy. People will call you out for wearing the wrong foundation shade meantime in person. It looks perfect so that's what I would say I would say go for two or three shades lighter however if you do have dark under eye circles because there's already darkness under your eye I would say just use a concealer that is your specific shade of foundation and it automatically will already look brightened under your eye area without looking ashy does that make sense because if you go for, if you have dark under eye circles and you go for a shade, two or three shades lighter than your actual skin complexion, it is going to look very ashy. And as a rule of thumb, I would just say go with your exact shade of foundation and concealer because automatically it, it will look brighter. And yeah, especially if you don't want to go the route of color correcting and all that stuff, then go with your exact shade. Okay, so hope that makes sense to you guys. Next is a statement. Missing your stories, love all your looks. You are one talented lady. Thank you so much. Lots of love to you. Um, next is how do you choose the correct shade of blush and bronzer and highlighter? So if you look at the LA Girl blush palettes, for example, they have from a light complexion, there are four palettes. From a light complexion, moving on to a dark complexion. If you get palettes that are catered for certain skin tones, that will already help you 100, 100% because if you're a medium skin tone and you get a medium palette, there's no guesswork in, oh my God, what shade do I get? Obviously, you kind of look at your complexion and you think, okay, a pale pink won't necessarily show up on my skin as well as it will show up on someone who's a little bit fairer than me. At the same time, I would go for a pale pink if I, if I really wanted the lightest bit of light wash of pink on my cheekbones. I feel like when it comes to blush, it depends on your preference. Some people like pinky blushes. 
Some people like peachy blushes, some people like rosy colored blushes, some people like terracotta blushes, some people like orange blushes. I think you've just got to start off with a palette that is catered towards medium skin tone because that's the easiest way for you to be like, okay, now I know what I'm looking for in terms of a blush or whatever. I would highly recommend the Spice Blush Palette from LA Girl if you guys are in my skin tone range. If you look at those colors, you automatically will start training your eye to be like, okay, these are the colors that more or less work for my skin tone. The Spice, one of the blush palette, one of the blush colors is a little bit dark, but I mix it with the lighter blush color and you get like your perfect blush shade. So I think that's the easiest way to pick a blush. When it comes to bronzer, your bronzer always needs to be a couple of shades darker than your skin tone. Not in a sense where it's cool tone, where it looks like a contour shade, it needs to be a warm shade that is slightly darker than your skin tone because you want to warm up your complexion, not chisel your face. Bronzers, I feel like, are better for warming up your complexion. Contour powders are better for chiseling out that cheekbone. Okay, I hope, I really hope, like, the way I'm explaining it makes sense. What is your favorite your favorite full coverage foundation? I have quite a few. Um, my favorite at the moment is Fenty, mixed with, ooh, I'm gonna drop it, mixed with Can't Stop, Won't Stop, but I also really love MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I really love the LA Girl Pro Matte. I love the LA Girl HD Illuminating Foundation. Um, it just kind of depends like how my skin is feeling. If my skin's like really dry, then I'll go for the HD Illuminating because it has like a glowy finish. Um, but there's a lot of foundations that I love that are full coverage. So at the moment right now, it's Fenty mixed with Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Next hair color. I am going to be 100% honest with you guys and say that I don't know what my next hair color is going to be until the day before I change my color. Like I know people are always like you always continuously like changing your hair color like with no forewarning and it's because in the moment I decide okay I'm gonna go a certain color and I just do it. I don't think twice because if I like really like think twice about it it's not gonna happen like I'm gonna overthink and overthink and overthink and it's just not gonna happen so yeah um if I wake up tomorrow morning and I decide I want my hair to be blue it's going to be blue with that being said blue might be my next hair color um one of my friends sent me like a couple of boxes of blue hair dye that she had and um it's one of the colors I used to use years ago and I'm, I absolutely love it so I might go back to blue I'm not sure but we shall see I might just keep the blonde for maybe the rest of the year and just see how I feel but maybe when summer comes I'll have a new hair color <laughs> but yeah don't don't hold your breath on blue it might just be purple or pink or red or any color under the sun who knows what program do you use to edit your videos? So you guys, everything you need to know with regards to what I use to edit is down below in my description bar, but I do use Wondershare Filmora to edit my videos. I've been using it for a couple of years now. It's very user friendly, very easy to learn how to edit. Um, I initially learned how to edit on Windows Movie Maker, but now it's no longer available. So I would say like, it's pretty easy to edit on Wondershare for Mora, so that's what I use. Next question is, which brand did you first purchase when you started your blog? Um, I feel like I was buying a lot of Essence and I was buying a lot of drugstore products when I first started, just because it was like the, the things I could afford. And then I, like the one of the first proper brands I started investing in was Mac. Um, I had a job in my second year of university and I was like, okay, your girl got some coin, your girl got no responsibility, she gonna buy some Mac. And um, yeah, I, I would say like my first official like makeup brand that was like high quality was Mac and then I think I also got Inglot. And yeah, those are the two brands that like stand out to me in terms of like my high-end purchases when I first started. Next question is, hi, can you do a video on YouTube teaching us how to edit? God, it's like science. Um, to be honest, 
it is really not difficult. Like on Wondershare Filmora, it is not difficult at all. I can pretty much edit in my sleep at this point. It just depends on your editing software. If you start off with an editing software that is very intense and it requires a lot of time, a lot of practice, a lot of teaching, a lot of tutorials, then obviously it's going to be like rocket science. Like I have downloaded some programs where I'm just there like, how do I use this thing? I don't know how I use this thing. And I just keep going back to Wondershare Filmora because it's so easy to just cut and paste and remove and delete clips and add transitions and all that good stuff. So I would say if you're looking for good editing program software, try Wondershare Filmora. It is amazing. Um, you do have to pay for it though. So yeah, n nothing comes free these days, unfortunately. I mean, I did use... Video pad for a while, um, and that's also really really easy um, when it comes to editing. But I would say Filmora is worth the investment. Video pad is free, by the way, so you guys can try that as well. It's also really easy to edit. Um, hi, Sinesh, do you do makeup and hair for the traditional Tamil bride? Also, how much would you charge? Please email me at sineshninaidu at gmail.com well not at sineshninaidu at gmail.com my email address is in my description bar and i will forward you my price list unfortunately i don't do bridal hair for tamil brides it requires a lot of like flowers and technique and stuff like that and i i have not studied hair like that in detail obviously um, a lot of my clients have been requesting that I do their hair, like curls and braids and all that stuff. So I have been doing that on request, but unfortunately, Tamil bride hair, I'm not going to lie. I, I probably won't know what I'm doing if I attempt that. So um, yes, I do do traditional bridal makeup, but not traditional bridal hair, if that makes sense. Not a question, just want to let you know you are gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. I swear, anytime somebody gives me a compliment, it never gets old. Like, never, ever, ever gets old. There are days where I feel like, oh, like I'm not good enough, like I'm not good looking enough. And then other days I'm just like, I feel like I've gotten to a point where I've convinced myself that I'm good looking, but it just doesn't get old when I hear it from other people. So thank you so much. When will you start doing nails? I need to be your first customer. So the reason why I haven't started doing nails is because I've been going through a lot of trial and error with the products I'm actually using right now. Like the brand of gel polish I'm using is kind of giving me issues right now. So I'm not really sure whether I need to use it differently or whether I need to invest in another brand or maybe test out another brand. But I'm kind of getting all my products together, seeing what I like, seeing what works really well and all that stuff. And when I am most comfortable, I will start doing nails. I really want to do a course in nails before I start doing it professionally. So hopefully soon. Whew, I need some water. I'm drinking. I wonder, this is Woolies water. Let's see. Let's do a Woolies challenge. I mean, this war is all right, you know. I'd like, I'd totally prefer some tea, but for now, I'll just have some water and everything will be good in the world. <laughs> Woo, askies, guys. I don't think I can do like a what South African accent. I think I'm so bad at it. Like, I'm so bad. But anyway, I'll stick to a British Woolworths accent. Okay, can I have some tea? Thank you so much, darling. Okay. Um, okay, what do you not like about being a South African YouTuber? I would say the hate comments. The hate comments really get to me and I've only had like a handful. But the hurtful things that were said were enough to put an already depressed version of me more into depression to the point where I think I broke down on an Instagram live once because people are just so disrespectful like it's but I've learned 
not to reply and just block and just move on with life because it's really it's not worth your sanity to deal with negative comments um what is your biggest motivation in life right now my biggest motivation like nobody's ever asked me this question but i feel like my biggest motivation is my family first and foremost my niece and my nephew i love them like they're my own kids and i just i wouldn't do anything that would make my niece and nephew disapprove of me and i love them so much and they are definitely my biggest motivation i want them to know that no matter what happens in life follow your dreams chase your passions and work hard you know nothing comes without hard work next question is how long was your longest relationship it was 2 years and 4 months i believe not a question but oh my god i just recently found your page and your goals oh thank you next question is no matter the primer or setting spray i'm super oily and makeup breaks apart like crazy help um i'm going to have to say you might need to work on your skincare if I'm an oily girl and I don't have issues with makeup breaking apart on me. Yes, my skin still gets oily, my oils peek through, but I don't have an issue with makeup actually breaking up on my face. So when I think of makeup breaking up on the face, I'm thinking the skincare is not coordinating well with the makeup. So go through your skincare, um use products that are more suitable for oily skin do not skip on moisturizer just because you're oily and you're producing a lot of oils doesn't mean you need to deprive your skin of moisture you still need to use a moisturizer you need to use a toner you need to use an appropriate face wash for oily skin and yeah well i would say 100% work on your skincare and i'm sure you will notice a difference in your makeup Next question is I hope this isn't too personal. I followed you when you stayed with your sister and then lost track of when you moved in with to your brother's house. When did that happen? How did it feel transitioning to staying on your own on your own? I think you're getting it confused. I initially lived with my brother and he <laughs> he is currently in a different country. Um and now I am living with my sister. I am living in her outbuilding, but I am still a part of the household because like we still have supper together and we eat and you know like it's still one household i just have my own space in the outbuilding that's just it um transitioning to living on my own i have i decided to take a lot more responsibility on myself because you know like living on your own you need certain things you know i have my own space i have my own bath and shower you know there's certain things i like there's certain things i i want and certain things i want to improve my space so there's a lot of responsibility i've decided to take upon myself um and it's it's really it feels really good to be independent it feels amazing to be independent or semi independent i say semi because i mean i still live with my sister but I am doing the most to be independent at the end of the day. So, um it is amazing having your own space. I absolutely love it and yeah, it's it's the best. As an Indian girl, what do you struggle with the most in terms of beauty? Um in terms of beauty, I think my complexion. I think like it kind of annoys me that my neck is a different color and my chest is a different color and my hands are different colors and my legs are fair and my back is dark and my hands are dark. It's just being 50 shades of Indian <laughs> is like it's it's torture for me honestly. But there's nothing I can do about it. This is how God made me. Um the other thing is like having acne but like my my acne is hereditary so there's nothing I can do about that. But um I try not to let the Indian community and the ideals of the Indian community get to me. I've never been bullied per se for anything um that wasn't to Indian people's standards. Um but I I struggle a lot with not having good skin. um and I, yeah like i think my skin is my issue and not not necessarily the color of my skin the fact that 
my body is 50 shades like it just can't be like why can't it just be one color I don't care if it must be the darkest color under the sun can it just be one color that's all I want <laughs> but I guess God made us this way it is what it is um, but yeah that's that's pretty much what I struggle with and that's it do you ever feel scared to be single at 24 society places so much pressure on being partnered what's your thoughts honestly when I was younger I well, since I was younger, I always wanted to be in a stable relationship with someone that I cared about, something I could build, like a relationship I could build with someone. Um, but I feel like as time goes by, people are so damaged. And I've realized that slowly but surely, people are damaged. They do not want to commit. They want to play games. They, they're just not in the, in the right headspace to be in a stable relationship. And I need stability in my life. I need stability to be the best me possible. And if me giving myself stability is what I need, then that's okay. And if me being single at 24 is what I need, then that's okay too. I think a lot of people, like in the olden days, my mom was married and already had two kids at my age, um, if I'm not mistaken. And it's just not the same these days. Like my dad was committed to my mom. They may do it what they had. They made their marriage work. If it was broken, they fixed it and they made it work. And that's just how things were in the olden days. Now it's it's completely different. People don't have the same morals and values anymore, even though their parents do. People have these ideals in their head that they think is acceptable in society and that's just not realistic. And my thing is, I... I'm not dating to waste anyone's time. I'm dating for a purpose. I'm dating to build something with someone. So my thoughts on being single at 24, if I have to be single until I'm 30, that's fine. I would rather not be in the dating scene because of the fact that it can be toxic and because of the fact that it is a lot more complicated now than it was back when our parents were getting married and our parents were dating. So, yeah, I would say for those parents out there, if you're wondering why your child is just not in a relationship, why it's taking so long, people have issues. People don't like to work through their issues. They would rather carry it continuously into different relationships instead of dealing with it psychologically. And it really breaks people down. There are so many more mental issues these days than there was back then. And I feel like, that is what hinders progress of relationships is when people feel like they don't want to commit because they have so much going on and i don't know that's just my opinion on it that's just what my experience has been um the reason why i'm not in a relationship right now um i'm hella invested i am willing to walk through scorching fires and climb the highest mountains but Evidently, not everyone is on the same page as me. So, yeah, I would say, who cares what society says? If you know that you've tried your best to try and make a relationship work, but you feel like relationships are just not for you and you're attracting the wrong kind of people into your life, take a step back and think about what you really want for yourself and speak that into existence. And it might take a while, but... Who cares what society thinks? If you're happy being single, okay, some of us are not fully happy being single, right? Like, you know, we want our person, but um, it's not about what society thinks. If we continuously worry about what society thinks, we're never gonna be happy because we're continuously gonna be living for society and not for ourselves. So that is my stance on the whole being single thing. I have been single for a while now. Does it bother me? No. Am I dating? Not really. Um, should I probably be dating? Yes, I should. And I probably will start really soon. Cause you know, you gotta test the waters and go see what the fish look like. I'm just saying, maybe I might find a Nemo. Okay. <laughs> um, what do you think about Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation? I love it. I love the texture. I just don't like it on camera because it flashes back really bad. 
what is the best yet affordable foundation wet and wild photo focus hands down it is a hundred bucks you guys the finish is amazing it is beautiful the coverage is beautiful like get your hands on it seriously can you please tell me what lipstick shades best suit indian woman here's my secret if you like a lipstick shade you look at it and you're like mm, i like this shade i want to wear it the best trick I can give you guys is always wear a lip liner. Wear a lip liner that is dark. Like I use Mahogany and Plum MAC Plum for all of my lipsticks. It doesn't matter whether it's burgundy, whether it's a medium tone nude, a light nude, a dark nude, a peachy nude. Whatever the case may be is I always use those lip liners. The trick is I feel like there's no color that cannot suit all of our skin tones, especially Indian women. Like we have beautiful brown skin. Col there's so many colors that can look good on our skin you just need to like take the plunge line your lips put that pale nude on your lips and you will see how beautiful it looks trust me line your lips if you're not lining your lips in 2019 i cannot help you but if there's any lip color that you because we all have different preferences right we all have different preferences so if you feel like you're into like pale nudes just get like a pretty like plummy mahogany espresso looking lip liner line your lips live your best life with your lip color you'll thank me later ombre lips are actually the in thing so i mean any color will suit indian women any color i promise you any color i know you guys are always like burgundy 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 or red 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 can we just experiment a little bit just line your lips with a darker lip liner and use any color your heart desires problem solved <laughs> Advice for makeup artists who want to start freelancing. My best advice would be to weigh out your pros and cons. If you know you have not been getting bookings, you have a job, you have not been getting freelance bookings consistently, then maybe rethink your options. You need to understand that there are certain times in the year where you will be exceptionally busy and other times of the year where it's just really quiet nobody's doing anything there's no events whatsoever you need to be prepared for the freelance life if you're in a store you know there's always feet count like people are always walking around in a mall whereas if you're freelance you gotta wait for people to come to you it's a little bit more difficult so i would say if you're gonna do freelance make sure you have a backup plan in terms of income because you do need another source of income when times are rough with freelancing if that makes sense so always have a backup plan always have two sources of income one from your freelance one from when there's no freelance jobs ways to hide large pores when applying makeup so you gotta do a lot of research when it comes to your foundations a lot of some foundations will over exaggerate pores some not so much like i'm wearing the la girl um pro matte foundation i have quite a bit of pores in this area but you can't really see because the foundation is doing really well and also i use the urban decay the slick primer and it seemed to have smoothed out my pores really well so prime your skin really well and use foundations that you know are not going to emphasize your large pores hope that helps can you recommend winter foundations so anything creamy based like the revlon not the revlon the revolution makeup sticks the foundation sticks those are so creamy so nice for the winter the hd illuminating foundation very dewy very hydrating for the winter anything that's not heavily matte is a good foundation so my top two picks would be the revolution foundation sticks and the hd illuminating foundation from la girl Next question is, what are your thoughts on ColourPop and Cult Beauty? Have you ever ordered from them? I love ColourPop. Um, I really want a few things from Cult Beauty, but I just have not had the guts to order because I am absolutely petrified of customs. I am so stressed that I'm going to order something and customs is going to come back <clears throat> A couple of hundred rands and I am very pedantic about my savings I'm very pedantic about how much I spend on makeup every month how much I spend on clothes every month so if I plan on spending 600 rand this month and I order something from Cup Beauty and it just hit like maybe the 500 mark customs is gonna come back and it might be 300 rand I'm already over my budget for makeup that month and I just cannot deal with that stress. So I have not ordered from Cult Beauty yet just because customs stress me out. Um, 
but when I do, I will share my experience with you guys. For now, I've just watched so many videos where people order from cult and they, they, <sighs> their products come and they are paying like a lot of money. A lot of money. So I might as well just get it from a third party reseller than pay a crap load of customs. Stresses me out. Can you tell I'm stressed? Whew. But I love Colourpop and I love that Cult Beauty is like such an amazing website with just like everything. I know you haven't tried it, but what is your shade in the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation? I have absolutely no idea. I do think I'm the shade... Okay, my battery died, but as I was saying, I think I might be the shade either Baklava or Brown Sugar. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. If you guys are my shade of foundation and you already know your shade in Huda Full Filter, please comment down below and let us know so that we know what shade <laughs> to invest in if we do want to buy Huda Full Filter. Okay, next question is lash extensions versus false lashes. Um, I would prefer false lashes however I will say if you're like a working mom or you're continuously busy lash extensions are probably the way to go if you're someone who's very busy you don't have time but you want like full lashes all the time and you have the money to invest in them why not um personally I would prefer false lashes just because you can kind of change up the volume of your lashes one day you could do natural one day you could do like super spiky and whatever the case maybe is also because I like to rub my eyes and I do have sensitive eyes. Um, ew, eyelash extensions have not been comfortable for me in the past. What do you use to get your hair blonde? I currently use the Renew Highlight Kit. I use the Renew Ash Blonde um, Pre-Lightening Kit. Um, the Ash Blonde I feel like does help to an extent to help you tone um, the blonde but the yellow does show through quite a bit so it kind of annoys me when it gets to the yellow point but um i also used renew it's very affordable and yeah what's the best brand for eyeliner um as of recent i've been really loving nyx let me find it like in terms of liquid liners the nyx liquid matte liner is the bomb diggity i'm wearing it on my eyes today and it completely covers like the glitter liners and you know eyeshadows that are generally or like glitters that are generally hard to cover on oh almost dropped it on a day-to-day -day basis i would say liquid luck it is so easy to use it is so pigmented so matte um so between these two i, I actually can't choose i actually really like both describe your ideal guy in detail sure you guys want the tea hey um I think the general things like trustworthy, honest, loyal, um, humorous, loving, caring. Um, he kind of needs to be like my safe haven, you know, when I am going through a rough time. You know, I've, I've, I've been feeling like alone for the past couple of years because, you know, my sister has my brother-in-law, my brother has his wife. I have nobody, my mom has my dad, you know, like, and yeah, he just needs to be in my safe space. And I'm literally the kind of person, if I'm having a bad day or if I'm really angry, I just need a hug. Like, I, I, at the end of the day, I mean, I really just need a cuddle buddy. That's all I need. <laughs> I don't need anything else. Um, you know, someone who's like spontaneous, someone who just, just wants to see a smile on my face and someone who doesn't like seeing me sad or see me upset or basically someone who wants the best for me because I've been in situations where people say they care about you but they keep putting you in a position where you don't feel valued and I think I want to feel valued by someone at the end of the day so yeah that is my ideal guy. I don't need someone to pay my bills. I can do that by myself. I just need somebody who's going to be an amazing support system for me so that I can be an amazing support system for them. The next question is, what's the best eyelash glue to use? Ilio Lash Fix Adhesive. This is such a good eyelash 
brand or eyelash glue rather and it works really well I can literally stick any type of eyelash whether it's the thinnest band or the thickest band it works really really well and I just really enjoy using it and it's affordable Next question is advice on a beauty partnership with a fellow MUA. I'm not 100% sure what this question is asking me um, because this is actually very vague. But I would say if you're going to partnership with regards to anything, any business venture, always do your research. Make sure you both have the same morals and values so that you don't have conflict of interest, conflict of interest, and just make a very well educated decision. Also, if you guys are wondering, my lip is I Love Sarah E times Colourpop Arriba! Such a beautiful red. And that is it for this video. Don't forget to stay all day every day with I Love Makeup. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to stay all day every day. That's what I just said. Huh? That is it for this video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to stay all day every day with I Love Makeup. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!